It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the New England Patriots and the New York Jets on Thursday night. The bright lights of Broadway just to the east of us, and we are under the lights as well at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. They'll run it. This is Ramondre Stevenson. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The first carry for the Memphis man, Antonio Gibson. Not much there, maybe a couple up to the 35. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? And he's gonna have the first down at about the 38. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll try to throw now. Brissett. Hunter Henry brings it in. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. From the 44 now, here's second and four. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. This one left side caught by Gibson. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. Third and seven now. Brissett now. Dancing to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Williams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Up at the 29 now. They'll head to the line. Second and a yard. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. They'll run for the first time with Brees Hall. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they're looking at a second down and nine to go. Hall on a give up the middle. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. Rodgers going to throw. And he is caught. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Alan Lazard, 51 yards. And the Jets post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. The 
Zerline good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down to throw Brissett flush to his and he can't get rid of it he's taken down buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play throwing on second and long Brissett under pressure they got him again Jermaine Johnson credited with that sack so Brandon we sat in with a lot of coaches and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Brissett sets to throw it. They'll set up the screen. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And that will set him up in excellent shape. First and goal at the nine-yard line. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Partner, this is almost an unwinnable spot for a defense. They have to come right out for a first and goal trying to stop them. But let me hold on a second. Let me take that back real quick. They can win here if they force a field goal try. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Brees Hall, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Here's second and 10. Here's Brissett. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Out of the gun, Brissett. They call it no gain there on the first down play. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. This is certainly a team that is proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Now Brissett. And he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Bryce Behringer on now to punt. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. The Jets' offense now works their way back onto the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And this one nearly picked off. 
Well, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Now Rodgers. Wilson's got it on the crossing route. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Rodgers. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Second and 10. Rodgers now to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least it'll be fourth down. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll throw now on the final play. Escaping the pressure right. Evades the tackler and now some space. And they'll get him down here at the 23. So getting through the break at record pace and right back to football. Third quarter, here we go. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. But one thing I know for sure, the standard speech is to treat the game like it's tied. But when you have an advantage, they also tell you, make sure you don't get your foot off the gas. Message received. Second half starts with a run by Hall. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Got a man. That's Lazard. And he'll go down, but not before getting his inside the 30. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. On first and 10, it's Hall. And bulldozing his way through. And they'll get him down inside the red zone at the 14. It's also a gain of 14. First down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Now second and nine. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Touchdown! Tyler Conklin from 13 yards out. And the Jets take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. 
throwing. Brissant. And the pass to Henry is intercepted. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. Well, I mean, you get it. They're trying to make something happen here in this third quarter, CD, but I don't think a pick six is exactly what they had in mind. No, not at all, because this offense, they've been stuck all game long. Haven't done it to scoreboard yet, and they're kind of forced to take a few chances here, and that one, it backfired in a big way. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. It's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. The turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well. And that's really, unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they won't want to admit it to themselves. But we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is, how do they pull a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football, no more turnovers, and see how that works. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Clinton Williams in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Take it at the 37. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Now Hall to start the drive. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. They work now on second and nine. Brings up second and nine at their 48-yard line. They'll go again with Hall. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for a Jets. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Straight ahead is Hall. 44 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first down, right back to Hall. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Second down and four. Brings up second and four. They'll give to Hall. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll run with Hall. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They just... And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. 
And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your... And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be Previous confirmed by the replay review. official. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to After cross. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So take away the touchdown. The officials rule he did not get the football to break the plane. Another shot from the one on second and goal. On the sneak, Rodgers. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, when they said before the game that they were going to try and execute every second of this contest, I, I guess that that was taken literally because here they are in the final moments of the fourth, putting another touchdown on the board, Charles, to add to this big lead. I'm not a big believer in 110%, but it certainly applies here, doesn't it? Because some guys just can't go with less. As long as there's time left on the clock, they're pushing to get to the end zone one more time. They don't really care about what the optics show. They just want to finish the game off the way that they like to play it. Full speed, all out. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Patriots ready to try again on offense. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film section tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the post-game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while, but everyone on that offense knows it'll sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. How to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was that they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the J-E-T-S, as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.